Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Um, so today this video is about how to face paint a puppy. Now with that, you can pick any color for a dog. Um, I try to stay away from blues because the dogs and bunnies sometimes look a lot of like cats. They have sharper ears, so it's easier to get away with doing those in any color. But I mean, we're gonna have the tongue hanging out. We're gonna have the scruffiness right here. So, um, but I'm gonna go a little traditional today and we are um, going to be doing um, brown. And I had to bust out I don't know my old paint palette so when I told you guys that when I started out I used the $10 $20 set from Amazon well after that I was like oh maybe I can put my own the my paints that were these guys into a container that'd be easier for me to carry and I did that and it kind of ruined them I mean I don't know if, see how like cracked and gross they can look I mean they're all water activated, so all I had to do was spritz it with water and it comes back alive, but it still doesn't have the same quality as the other guys. However, the brown does. So we're gonna be using the brown today and I already pre-tested it and it works out great. And I'm going to set up the chat thingy here in a second. Ashley, man, best friends for life. <laughs> um, so, oh, let me, whoop, 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 whoop. all right, now I can see everyone who wants to chat. So, Ashley, if you could type in hi or something so that way I can make sure it's working properly, it'd be a great help. But um, while I wait for that, I'm gonna get started. So, we have our brown, we're gonna be using our white, and we're going to be using our melted black. And then for the tongue, I haven't quite decided if I'm using red or pink. I think we might stick with red because we're trying to stay a little bit more on the natural kind of um, flow today. So that's what we're going to be with. There we go. Comment. There. Sweet. Okay. So um, we're not going to be using any sponges. Um, we're going to be using one of our medium sized brushes for the brown, our detail brush our slightly bigger brush for the scruffiness of the white and the white ear and then we might bust out or clean the brown one and reuse that for the red so just so you guys know what we're using and when we're using it um all right oh still got paint in my nose from this morning's video <laughs> okay so let's get started i want to start with the brown I'm really excited to do the puppy. Always love puppies to death. So I'm taking my water and then spritzing it. Due to the how clunky this paint is, I'm not gonna hold it up, but I'm just going to go in circles and load up my um, my paintbrush, all nice and loaded. Okay, so we are going <clears throat> to start with, I'm gonna put the brown on this side because it's easier for me to maneuver with the white on this side. So we're gonna be doing like a folded over ear, like folded over floppy ear. Now I absolutely, totally love dogs. Like I can't tell you how much I love dogs. So you look, I'm just doing a really weird triangle. It also looks like a really big eyebrow. It's okay. So we're going to be filling it in. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Like everyone, we're trying to stay home and stay safe. And so our whole family is at home. And they're getting up, they're eating lunch. And I want to fill in my eyebrow because I don't know if you can tell, but it looks kind of funny. Oh, well, at least it looks funny to me. They're going through. And... Ah, oh, contact. I don't know how many of all, if you're watching this, if you know me, I don't normally wear contacts. I'm, I find though that it's difficult to do a face painting on yourself, like a full face face painting like this, when you have your glasses on. I could have probably done this one with my glasses, but 
day late and a dollar short. But I just love dogs so much. So I'm going to bring, now that I have this guy, gigantic brown, I'm going to bring this down uh, for the nose. So we're going to have like a white ear over here, and this is just a brown ear. And I'm just going to go from the nose and go up like that. So you can see, and then our doggy nose is going to be right here. So we're just filling it in right there, and we're going to do this side. Not all dogs look alike. That's one of the unique things about them. So, like, it's okay if your lines aren't straight. I mean, try to get the nose. But, like, this part I want white, so I'm, like, it's okay if it's a little divid, divid. It's okay if it's just off a little bit. So we're going to go here, and we're going to bring the brown up. And we're going to start the ear, but we're going to finish it off in white. I just kind of want it outlined. And then we're just going to do a couple little straight hairs for the forehead of the dog. Then I'm going to go in and fill out the white there too. So with this ear being white, I think I want to paint this guy, a brown eye on this side. So we're going to disconnect this right here. And we're just going to go in. Now, we're not doing the eye, the eye itself. I wanted this one to be something simple you can do with your kids. If you don't want to do the eye because maybe they're squirmy or they're nervous about a paintbrush being close to their eye, very valid fear, by the way. Um, or it's a fear that I, I hear a lot. It's okay. We're just going to fill it in. We're going to outline it in black. And we're just going to go here, and we're just going to outline that. Like I said, you can do a dog in any color you want. I just like the look of this one. Oh, it's so, so cute. Oh my gosh. But if you guys have doggies at home, I'd love to uh, hear about your doggies. Let's see. da 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 Scratch my arm. Okay, so now that we're done with the brown, we're gonna go into the white. So I'm gonna take my bigger brush like these. And I'm gonna get it wet and I'm going to spray my white palette. And we're just gonna load. We're going crazy. We're going stir crazy. We're just stirring this up, making sure we get our brush nice and loaded. All right, oh, I love this part. Okay, so we are going just to, to like this, like a Albert Einstein mustache, so to speak. So it's okay. You can go up. I want a scruffy dog, like a Russell Terrier. And you can go all white. Like we have a uh, what is she? A multi poo. I think is what she's called. Uh, uh, she's all white and all fluffy. That's completely cool too. So I just want to fill in this area. And totally looks weird. That's okay. You can just go whoop, connect it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go up in the nose through this one. I'm going to cover my lip. I'll leave my bottom lip exposed though. It'll probably get covered eventually. So you just want scruffy. Scruffy, scruffy, scruffy. But yeah, if you want, if you're watching this with the kids or if you're just watching and you, and uh, I, I'd be interested to know what dogs you have. I used to be a dog sitter. Or a pet sitter, uh, stay at people's houses while they were away, and it used to be like my favorite pastime. I'm like, I get paid to have pets because I didn't, I rented rooms and I still technically do. 
so I couldn't have any dogs or anything of my own just yet. All right, two of them are bringing this guy down a little bit. We're connecting him all over the eyebrow, just like so. And then we're going here and we're going just make it look like a little bit hairy. We're gonna bring that down. Now if you look, it's kind of blending together. That's okay. Like I said, dogs are not perfect. And their coloring, by not being perfect, is awesome. Because if you really wanted to, you could try to copy your dog at home. So, we're going here. And we're going to bring a little bit more. We're blending in the colors. And I might go back with the brown later. I'm like, more striking. Yes, but I kind of like the curve of the nose. And, hmm. I'm going to go up and we're going to clean up this ear a little bit more. I love painting, but sometimes with the white, it can um, come across very, uh, not smudgy, but, um, I don't know, streaks. And I don't like streaks. So, all right. Well, we're almost done. We're halfway through. This is a kind of a short video. Um, because it's very simple. It's a very fun one for kids. So um, I figured, well, this is all drying. We'll get through to here. And so that means a fun word of the mouth. Um, I, my, my mom and my stepdad and everyone, we all used to adopt. And it was my f one of my favorite things in my childhood. So we used to adopt dogs. There was a, one time we went, or a couple times, and when we lived in Ohio, we um, we would go to a dog shelter and we had a kennel license, which just meant that if you had more than five dogs, and we would adopt like every single dog that was on death row. And when you take that dog home, we feed it, give it a bath, and then we'd put it out in the newspaper back then. And it was free dogs, a good home, don't, dog food donations would be nice. And so that's what we did. And uh, we, we got rid of a ton of dogs that went to really good homes. And the ones that didn't get adopted, the, I don't, the misfits. And we lived on an island, so it was kind of funny. It was like we were the, we were the island of misfit dogs. All the, all the dogs that didn't get adopted, we kept. And man, were they great. We had this one named Batmite. And she just looked like a, a fox and a corgi mix. And she was just so cute. Just loved her. And then I can't, we had just like this one hound that was also like, he, he looked like he was mixed. It was like a hound and a beagle mix. So he had like the giant floppy ears, but the body of a basset hound. And, and he was just adorable. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm a huge fan of adopting pets. And if I'm not looking straight at you, it's because I'm looking at the mirror to make sure I get this tongue straight and you guys can see. Yeah. You want a nice sized tongue. Okay, so the tongue is done. I don't let that dry. Uh, so for the paints, no matter what paint you get, most likely the red, yellows, and greens will stain the skin. Not permanently, not for a long time, just the pigment has a tendency to stay a little longer. So do not worry, it's okay. It will come off. Um, so I'm looking at my nose, I think I want the center of my nose to be a tad bit whiter. So I'm going in with the brush I used earlier and using my white, which is still kind of moist. And we are going to just recover him. I know I said this was easy, and to me, it still is. And it's definitely going to be a shorter video than I did this morning. But I am just super 
think I, I just, I see something and I want to touch it up. I want to fix it. I want to do whatever. If you're happy with the way your face is, like with the thing, be happy. Don't let me muck things up for you. Okay. So I did lie. We're going to use pink. And it's only for the inside of the ear right here and right here if I can get it. I'm going to spritz my sponge. And we don't want a lot of pink. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take the tip and we're going to just scratch the surface. Just like that. Just scratch the surface. Because we want to be able to control where the pink goes. Alright. Test it out on yourself. There. So we're going to go here and we're going to just tap on the inside. And we're going to, it's coming out. Because the inside of the dog's ears are pink. And we are just tapping. And we're going to try to see. I'm going to get a little bit more pink. Or try to. Let's see if we can do that over here. There. Oh, that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Okay. Like I said, not a whole lot. Just a nice little like blush. A pink. On the inside of the ears. It looks funny now. I can totally see it in the reflection. It's okay. Totally okay. Um, you can skip the pink part. Like I said, this is your face. This is your child's face. This is whatever you fit your fancy. Um, so I'm going to take our detail brush and our melted black, our California black. It's nice and melted from the three triple digits we had a couple weeks ago. We're going to make sure it's nice and sharp and we're going to run it over the pink. Very nice. But I'd like to keep my black super moist. So whenever I just need to reapply, I can. So now that that is done, we are going to outline the top ear right here before I get a little too crazy with the others. Let me make sure I can set that there, get all situated so I can get nice and close and personal with you guys. Okay, so we're going to outline the ear. And we're going to just a tad bit, oops, sorry, tad bit like that. And then we're going to outline that outline right here. And I'm just constantly swirling my uh, paintbrush in my black. We're just going up and we're going out like that. Now you can outline the this side of the ear. I don't tend to, but I'm going to be outlining the eye. And I want to be doing a rough outline. So like I said, I'm spritzing my paint. I'm going in and I'm just swirling it in the paint, just rolling it in between my fingertips. And we're coming out and we are just doing very rough, very loose outline of this eye. I got some baby hairs that are not liking me today. And a great way to do that, and might as well do it now, is spritz your hair. Spritz your kid's hair. Spritz it and try to pull it back as much as possible. We'll see if that works for me. Nope, I somehow missed that one hair. There's always that one, that one hair. Anyhow, so we're just we're, like I said, we're just um, we're roughly painting it, kind of like to make it look like it's furry, just rough, just rough. And uh, I'm gonna go in here. But yeah, your dog can be any color you want. I just wanted to use my brown today because I wanted to see how it worked or. What condition my brown is in because it's one of my oldest colors from that box and so now that i know it works that means i might be able to do a giraffe oh my gosh i would love to do a talking giraffe just like my talking dinosaur again don't know why i'm whispering but i am okay so now we're time for the other year so this year is this ear is going to be folded so we are going to come up right there and then you're going to come in from here 
gonna bring it down. Down, there you go. Now you can see it. Just a flopped over ear. We're gonna bring it over a little bit more like that. Ooh, my contact is not playing fair with me right now. And we're gonna connect it on this side just to show that we're finishing it. And you can do the top. You just do outline the rectangle or giant that you made earlier. Just follow it through. Okay. If you want, you can make it like up here, how we had or just add some like rough. some roughness and then we're going to fill in for a hairy interior over the pink just like we did here we're just gonna go whoosh 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 you didn't catch that the sound effects is very whoosh yep all right <laughs> okay we're spinning and we're spinning my brush we're spin we spun it Right, now I want to do, I'm going to do the nose last because, well, it's the nose, but I am going to bring it down right here like that, just in the center. I mean, everyone has that little center in between mark, in between your lips, or just like just straight line. I'm very proud. It's not as thick as I typically make it. And I want to bring it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to try to follow my top lip through mm here. -hmm. I think I need the bigger brush for that. It's okay though. We actually think we are done with the detail brush. So we're going to go and we're going to switch to the brush we used for the white earlier. We are going to swirl that around in the black. Just like you did the little one because you want it nice and pointy. Okay. We are going to just go. If for some reason you do not like my verbiage or my I'm boring you or just a little bit too much for you, understandable. I take no offense. You can mute me. You can fast forward me. I totally understand. You can just press your lips like this and it transfers to the bottom. Just like really weird lipstick. Mm, I'm so happy. He looks cute. Just like a talking puppy. I went to a yard sale and they had a great Dane puppy that was like, oh, couldn't have been but like a month or two old. And it's bigger than my dog that's like three years old. And I'm like, oh my God, can I pet you? Can I love you? And it just rolled over and all it wanted to do was to be pet. And I was losing my mind. My friends, my one of my friends was like, it's a dog. You can simmer down. I'm like, it's not a dog. It's a puppy. Yeah, I got issues. But I have those kinds of issues. Like a kid, a cute kid, love him. But if I see a dog, I lose my mind. And if you lose your mind too, you know, you could always make me feel better and and say, I totally know where you're coming from, Kimber. Or you could just leave me in the dark. <laughs> okay. So we're, I am outlining the nose right here. I'm bringing it down. It is a big black line. And it's okay. It's totally okay. All right. <clears throat> And now we're going to start the nose. You're going to come up. Essentially, we're going to do like a heart. So we're going to come up. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Contact is swimming. All right. Now, like I said, if I was doing this on a kid, I'd have it done in like two minutes. But because I'm talking, because I'm giving instruction, it's taking me longer. All right, so we're just connecting it down here. Let me lift up my nose so you can see. Na, 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 na. 
And this heart, we are going to ruin it by putting a little line. Kind of look like a deer. Just fill in your nose. For me, that's a bit of a challenge because I've recently found I'm very ticklish on my nose. Alright, you're almost done. I know, I know I said that like a couple times now. I just want this nose to be perfect. Okay, so now that the nose is for the most part done, we are just going to quickly outline the scruff and outline the tongue. And then once the nose is dry, we're going to put little indents for the in nostrils of the dog's nose. And then I promise we're done. Promise. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to go like that. And we're going to bring it back in. So you're going to flip out and bring back in. Flip out. Bring back in. Flip out. Bring, oh, no. Bring back in. Just like that. Oh, look, I'm scruffy. All right, and same with the other side. We're going to start at the top. You want the top to be mostly brought in from that. Oh, there's my black, black lines. I was wondering where you guys went. I'm always heavier on my left side because the angle that I'm in. Right now, I feel like I look like a Dr. Seuss character. Alright, and then now we're going to put a contact. I'm going to put a couple dots right here. So you just spin your brush around. And a little circle. I think three is the magic number whenever you're doing like dots for a dot or for hair. Okay. And you can do whiskers. I'm not going to do whiskers because every time I do whiskers, I mess it up. And I think, feel like whiskers are more of a cat thing. So we're going to do the tongue. Very fat tongue, but it's okay. You know, do your thinner lines if you want thinner lines. Nothing, everything's okay if you do thinner lines. I just have an issue and I have a very heavy hand. And then you can, uh, if you want to be really creative, you could take like little slobber marks and have the dog go. <laughs> but uh, so now I'm going to draw little black lines. For that and I want to make sure that the ears are nice and defined and then if you have a kids and they want you don't have to do I'm just touching up as I'm talking you don't have to do eyelashes but if the kids want eyelashes so you can give them eyelashes. I don't want eyelashes so I'm not gonna do it all right last bit and that's the white for the nose I told you about earlier make sure the the detail brush that you use for the black outlining is very very clean because you do not want to mess up your nice clean white. And just to make test as a test, I ran it around on the, the side and it looks lovely. So we're spritzing. We're gonna go in like this. And we're rotating our, you can see, we're just rotating along the border. We're loading it up and we're rotating it. Okay, we're gonna take this, get all up. How many nose hairs can you guys count? Just kidding. I'm sorry. I have issues. All right. We are going to do legacy. So we're going to bring it up and back in just like that. We're going to do legacy right over your nostril. Like that. And if it's big, bigger on one side than the other, you can try to fix it or just hope no one addresses you about it. I'm going to try to fix it because no one will because I'm in my house right now. And they always have that wet line down the center. Okay, I feel like I am done. Okay, done. Done. Hands up. Done. I know it took longer than I thought. I thought it'd only be about 15 minutes. It ended up taking longer. Okay. 
and you're done. If you want, you can add glitter. I'll add glitter. I don't, I don't want to add glitter today. I know this is the first time I've done the face paint where I didn't add glitter. No, I didn't add it to the talking dinosaur either. I'm just rambling now. What do you think of my puppy? Mm, eager, eager puppy. Yeah, I feel like I, from here down, I feel like I look like a Dr. Seuss character. But that being said, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh God, I already had the tongue. I don't need to do that, but hey, why not? Okay, so here's a close up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay home, stay safe. And um, looking forward to our next ones. All right, uh, visit my YouTube page if you wanna see some of my older videos or I believe they are documented on Facebook Lives. And um, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. I pretty much answer within minutes, if not a 24 hour period. So I'm just closing up my paints and thank you guys. And you guys have a great day. All right, bye-bye now.